Welcome in everybody to a special edition of Bama versus the World. It's I'm me. Your host, Hi. as always, Big I'm Mike. The problem. Um, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. And we do Hold have on. a special bi-week edition of oh. Bama versus the World. We don't actually have a real hey, uh, hey guys. this week. Um, hey, hey I, I thought we hey. were starting at seven thirty. Are we starting already? Oh wow! Uh, well, I mean uh, that does kind of track with the way Alabama offense has played. A little late to the game. I don't have my wife. Uh, he he so doesn't show up on time. Games. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't show up on time, but he 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 comes in at the end. So yeah, hey guys, so hey. I will introduce our guest. Give me just a second, guys. We do want to inter- introduce our guest uh, in our special bye week edition. Uh, first, we will introduce um, <clears throat> the backbone of the team, the the ones we can always rely on, the Alabama defense. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing I'm doing fine, Mike. I'm doing fantastically splendid on this beautiful Sunday evening. And I'm glad I'm glad you said what I didn't have to say. We are the ones that the team can rely on. We are the backbone of the team. Uh, this other gentleman you have on the show right now, I've I've seen him before. I've heard him before. Sometimes the crowd makes noises when he's around. Sometimes the crowd boos them when they're around. That doesn't happen to us. So I would like this gentleman to introduce himself if you don't want to introduce him. So let's, I, no, I, let's, I, I will do my job as the host. Okay, I will okay. introduce him. Um, my bad. You know, my bad. Had, you've had a really good relationship over the yeah. past few years. Yeah. Uh, seems to be a little bit more rocky this year. I can uh, see why. Undefended after, after the Tennessee game. Uh, we do have the Alabama offense with us. Uh, oh, hey. Leo, how are you doing today? I didn't realize if you pulled this up, you could see better. It's crazy. That, that, <laughs> that like, does seem to I happen. I was wondering why I was only seeing like half the screen. It's, it's really strange. Well, I mean, much like Jalen Miller only seeing half the field, that does seem to track again. Um, wow. But, you know, you have done it really well for us. Um, I did see stats that this was the lowest offense um, since like 2006, since yeah, before Nick Saban yeah, got in there. Been almost but, 20 years. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But with that being said, uh, Mr. Offense, you guys have pulled it out in the end for almost every game. We do appreciate everything you do. How are you doing this week? Oh, me. Sorry. I was yeah. really, really yes. not prepared for this at all. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, uh, we're I am you, doing Robert. great. Fine. Uh, you know, just not really with this right now. It's like you guys are like wanting to get together and like do stuff. You know, I do kind of things at my own pace. So, you know, I, you know, whatever. All right. Well, we will start over with the defense like Alabama does most games, deferring to the second half. We will start with the defense. Uh, going into the bye week, uh, obviously, big game against Tennessee. coming Hey, in, man, really, uh, really big fan of your work, though. Really big fan. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for leaving you out there all the time, but really big fan. Love yep. you guys. Let the host be a host. Well, going into the bye week, uh, Mr. D, uh, Big D, what are you guys planning on working on this uh, in these two weeks, getting ready for LSU? More like little D. R E S T. We need rest. We've been on the field for like eighty percent of the game each game, thanks to somebody not showing up or not. That's a long time, and not being able to sustain any type of drive. So, are you getting your orange defense license? is looking to? Oh, now you're interrupting me. Oh my god, this guy here. Yeah. So the defense is looking to just getting together. Chilling out and just resting and relaxing, maybe talking about a few plays, maybe watch film, et cetera. But we don't want to do any heavy lifting because we know we're probably gonna to have to do it again when we play LSU, even though never never I don't wanna I don't wanna to be too critical right now. Just to answer your question, Mike, we're just looking to getting some rest because we've been on the field for so long. I understand, and I, I will remind you guys that you know, you know, this is you know hey, an episode you guys where feel like we're we're all kind of like speakers, the... but we are all on the same team. Yeah, so, I heard this wasn't going to be that long, so it kind of feels like we're at the halfway point. I'll be right well, back. I do you understand? Oh, what oh, well, I was going to ask a question. Um, is this so, guy well? I, I guess much like the the He's, games on Saturday, we will stick with the defense. You will have to right. stay on a little bit longer. Um, do you have any injury concerns that, that that we need to know about? I know there's been a couple of banged up. I, I know. Yeah, I know. I know Malachi gets roughed up a little bit. He played. He did all right yesterday. Terry and Arnold. I I can't report on him right now. I'm going to check with Terry and probably tomorrow and give him a call and see what's going on. Uh, got roughed up yesterday. Other than that, I, I think we're going to be all right. Braswell looked good. Right. Dallas Turner looked good. John Campbell looked good. Defense looked good yesterday. I'm happy for us. Um, Again, let's just see what the offense. Oh, he looks like he's back with another yeah, shirt, yeah. and well, he's yeah. changed. Okay. Yep. Yeah, well, it looks like we have hello, a Michael. new offense. It hello, does. Defense. Hello, hello, it's Mr. Good to see offense. You guys tonight. Defense. Uh, what? You guys are doing fantastically splendid. I love your work. We're I, here I to support see, you now. I do see the change in the tagline. It does look like we do have the second half Alabama offense. Which ah, he looks more professional a now. A little bit more professional. A little bit held together. Yes, uh, we I, uh, appreciate. I, uh, I apologize for my cohorts. Um, 
you know, we had to get those guys out of here. We're here to handle business. Okay. Touchdowns, uh, running game. Uh, if we have to settle fifth field goal, we're not missing any of those. We've I, got your back now, fellas. I do have a question right quick. Speaking of running game, it seems like we run the ball up the middle every single play. Have you are you guys ever going to mix it up a little bit? Maybe run some jet sweeps, some sweeps, or left sweep to the right? Anything That's because else? our OC shows up to every game and introduces himself to the offense at the beginning of every game. That's why the first halves are so terrible. Second so, half, he actually gets to know the players a little bit better. I expect a better performance in the second half. And what is this? What is this karate chop thing you're doing? I don't. I don't get that. Well, we. I understand your anger, defense, but I'm here to help. We're on the same side. Okay, so with that being said, uh, obviously a little frustration coming through for the defense. Uh, Ayo, uh, Alabama second half offense, what are you guys planning on working on in the bye week to, to improve? Well, we're actually going to introduce the OC to Milrow and let him know that he's a running quarterback and maybe actually have him run a little bit more. Well, and he maybe did actually take advantage of his best strengths. So, yeah, and he did, he did let him run a couple times, had a couple of, of run of RPO plays where he ran a few times last week, yep. uh, most, most notably right there in the red zone. I think Alabama down to like the four right before Jay scored. So we did see a little bit more of that. So you guys are opening up the playbook. We really love to we see are. that as fans. And I'm right. sure Mr. the defense is going to need our support against well. LSU. So we're going to have to do our part. I expect a much better performance. That's what this is. Week. I expect for the defense to go ahead and take this week off, get healthy. As they said, we're the ones that need the work. We're going to put in the work defense. We got your back. I believe it when I see it. All right, a little bit of hesitation to believe that there by Mr. Big D. Uh, you know, as a fan, I'm happy to hear that. I appreciate that, AO, that you guys are, you know, planning on work on yourselves. Uh, maybe do a little self reflection. We really yep. appreciate that uh, and seeing what you can what you can improve on the bye week. Um, yeah. We will go into. I, I do want to hear from both of you, though. Let's end on a positive note since we are all on the same team. Uh, Big D, I know there's going to be a hard. Hard time answering this question, but what one thing do you do you think um, through the season so far that you're most proud of? Uh, I'm sorry, that, uh, excuse me. I would probably say that I'm most proud of our front seven or even our front four, to be honest with you. I think we've been playing pretty good in defense and attacking the quarterback. It took us a little slow. Maybe the first two or three games were a little kind of a slow start, but eventually we got to where we need to be at right now and put a little more pressure on the quarterback. So a lot better than that. I, I still think we need to improve in our secondary. I still think we're getting a lot of, a lot of deep balls thrown on us. Obviously, that was evident in the Texas game. It was unfortunate what happened that game. I, mean, I don't even know why I brought it up. But, um, yeah, to answer your question, I would say, our, 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 yeah, we're pretty stat up front. So, happy about I have that. To just I, say, I, I was I'm turned. proud of the defense as a whole. You guys are doing a, an amazing job, and I'm just proud of you guys each and every time out there. Yeah. I, I would 100% agree Roll with that. Tie. They definitely kept us in a lot of games and won some games for us. Uh, South Florida comes to mind that, you know, we didn't have any offense at all. Uh, but with that being said, again, we're going to end on a positive note, offense. Uh, if you look through, I know there's probably not a huge number of – of things that you could pick, uh, but what are you most proud of? Through the well, first Michael, uh, despite your attempt to not end this on a positive note, I'm going to go ahead and say the deep ball. Clearly, <laughs> if we get a guy uh, out, large, out long, you know, we've got, what, the top QBR in the nation with passes over 50 yards. That's what we do best. We don't like to waste time. All right. There you go. There you have it. Uh, thank you very much, offense and defense. We appreciate you guys joining us on the bye week. Uh, there will be no Alabama game on, so hopefully everybody gets rested and practices it up and improves and gets ready for the game at LSU. We will come back to regularly scheduled programming next week, uh, Bama versus LSU. So look forward to that. I hope everybody has a great week and, and stay healthy. Roll Tide. Roll, Roll Tide, everybody. Have a wonderful night.